All right, it's time for a replace City Skylines 2. All right, so what I was thinking about last night is I want to work on an area that's focused around rail. <laughs> um, like another little section of town. So I think I'm gonna buy something up here. Um, do something like that. And then I was thinking of maybe having the rail come over this way. Is that like another way of getting to town over here? So let's go here. <laughs> let's see what we need to buy. So I'm gonna start off with I think I wanna do like an offshoot. Maybe maybe I'll buy these two tiles to start with. And we'll come in. So I'm gonna start off by Grabbing my train station. All right. And let's see. So it looks like. Let's see. I'm going to place it here. Let me zoom in here. See what happens. No, this is a real yard. This is not what I wanted. Whoopsie daisy. I was like, that doesn't quite look right. Need a train station. There we go, that's better. All right, so the train station has, uh, looks like pass-through, so the trains go um, past here. Um, so I don't, I don't, um, so, because what I wanted to do is have one that goes um, connects to the outside lines, and then one that is just for internal. So, or at least one. But we can do that. Um, let's see the upgrades. They've got XA station and more trains, which doesn't take up any more space. Okay, so that's fine. All right, so I think the first thing I want to do is get the rails connected because those are tricky. We've got a two-way train track. We've got a single track, and then we've got a double. All right. <coughs> double. Double is what we have here, right? All right, so this allows them to switch directions or whatever. Versus, if I had done... Um... This, then they would shrink down to one. Okay, so they're already two here. All right, so I'm gonna go grab my double. All right, so we're gonna come from the train yard. All right, cool. So now I'm gonna switch to curves so I know what kind of curves I can do. Go now, curve. And this is coming from the rail yard, which is also coming from the outside. Go up. Is that going to actually connect correctly? It looks like it did. All right. There's our outside connection. again hold on i hate when it's set to curve but yet it doesn't trigger you to curve it all right so we're gonna need to buy another tile i think our outside connection and then our internal one and bring it out oh 
before the game's gonna freeze. Now, Earth, you know what? I think maybe have it parallel to there. Um, here we're gonna start going up. Okay. Let's see, that didn't do what I wanted it to. So let's come back over here. Let's go down. All right, so start going up. I went down instead of up, whoopsie daisy. One more. <sighs> Why is it not asking me to curve? Very upsetting. There we go. Alright. I'm going to leave that alone for now. It's going to head that way. I just wanted to get it done so I know where I can build my roads. You know what? I actually like that because if I want to do a road over, that gives me a little extra option there. Does that rise too high? Maybe, but I'm not going to let it bother me too much. Alright, so we've got what we want for the train station. So now what I want to do is our roads. I have a road that goes there. Why is it showing that I can zone in the... That seems like a bug. All right. So we're definitely not going to have an at-grade crossing here. So, but... All right, so this is... It's the highway. No, that's just a street. This is a collector... Alright, so I think I'll continue this street here. Wood Street. Which is a 2 and 2. But I'm going to change it up to be a 4 lane with a divider. And we're going to start going. You know what? Before I do that, let's do... Make our elevation here. We want this. Tiny brush. Tiny strength. Okay. And we want a slope here. That did not work, did it? Because I did it from the wrong area, so let me go back to level. Rid of that. Slope, and then from here up. Does that work? Okay. And then slope from oh. here up. Eight. Then we're gonna get our road. We're gonna go across here. Perfect. This is like the water. What's that? Yeah, exactly. This one's gonna go up there like that. Perfect. And over here, we're gonna come back down. Perfect. Oopsie. Alright, so now let's do some softening. Okay. Right. Probably did a little more softening there than I wanted to, but let's see. That's hmm. Alright, 
That's more of what I was looking for, something more like that, maybe. Okay. A bit weird. Same thing on this side. Oh, no, that fixed that. Get this to be fixed. Hmm. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Alright, so. Back to this guy. It up to where our train station is. No, I'm going to upgrade this road because it's the one right by the train station. I think it should be here. Now we're going to head. You know what? Let's do a curve. Let me go out. Curve in. Go. All right, so that should take care of their complaints now. Cool. All right, so before I forget, let's establish our routes. So, this line is gonna be oh, okay. This line will go from there. the outside world Recent spikes in demand have led to temporary local shortages in the city's fresh water supply and back. the public should be aware that we are struggling to get the situation in hand this has been a local we'll also go from here pending updates to our power grid the city will be experiencing rolling the outside houses. world we urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events and back. This has been a local public service announcement. All right, so now we've got Second Moon Radio with Jay two lines Thomas going out. And we're pervading some of the finest classical music on the air. Keep that dial right here. All right, let's go to our train yard. We've got six of ten vehicles. Okay. Fine, so we still have room for growth. joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Um, so, as I was planning to do here, we're going to have, uh, let's see, alright, let's start designing our, oh, here comes our first passenger train, heck yeah. Alright, um, I don't and another one coming behind it. Very cool. Alright, let's start. So I want to start off with um, having... Alright, let me try to bring this out a little bit more first. Alright. The commercial district is booming, as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury... Okay, so here, we're going to go out... 140, we're going to do 140 by 140 in this neighborhood. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business, and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. All right, so I think <coughs> let's see here. Let's definitely upgrade this with a taxi stop. Uh, all right, and then I'm going to do a pavement path. That. I'll also do one here because these are kind of large blocks. That. Okay, so we're definitely going to want commercial right up against the train station. People come out, they want to shop. There'll be shops here to cater for them, so we'll do that. Um, and then I think we probably want some police near 
the um, train station. Put them right there. Okay, and then here we're gonna have, let's have one more row of commercial. Okay. And then I wanna do another one. And we're gonna start off with some apartment buildings. Actually, before I do that, let me drop some parking in. You know, if there's a place that should have a lot of parking, it would probably be the train station. Let's see. But I think a good place that doesn't fit there, darn. That would be a really good place for it. Um, I will do it. <laughs> Want to do a mulligan here? I think I do. I think I'm going to call it Mulligan. Let's uh, dezone you. Get rid of that there. Let's see if we can put the underground parking here. Does it fit? It does. Cool. That's parking for the um, for the train station. Okay, cool. So I've got that parking. So now I think. Let's do a small parking lot. Let's see. Because that's a bit of a walk, I think, if you're living in this. Well, you know what? No, we're gonna we're gonna let it go. We're gonna not do it here. Because we have that, yeah, I think that parking garage is fine. So we'll come across here, across again. So we've got that going. Let's go ahead and put some apartment buildings here. Would there be apartments with stores underneath? I don't see that for this neighborhood. Let's just go with regular apartments here. So apartments, apartments, apartments. And then transitioning to row houses. So we've got, they've got this way to get out. I think one more block and we'll connect. Uh, just before I forget. So this goes to, we don't know what the city out there is called, do we? Leechburg, right. Leechburg. And the other one, we'll worry about it later. All right, so let's see. So these folks would go to the elementary school. So let's see, this medical clinic is taking care of these areas. Okay, um, let's see, I had a school, here we go. All right, I don't have this one uh, stuck to anybody. Okay, cool. So let's do another row. So I think these folks need a park. We'll do a small park here. Playground here. Dog park there. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do our path. Let's go ahead and drop some more row homes here. <coughs> All right, 
and then I do think we would provide another connection here. <laughs> okay. I put trees over here. So I imagine this would be kind of expensive. But maybe there's a way for that not to be the case. I'm not entirely sure. Let's go up here. Oop, what just happened? Oh. Okay. So. I'm trying to think exactly. Buy a whole bunch of tiles to get where I want to build my other residential one over here. But. Take a look at my other goals for this session. Okay, it was mostly just around this train stuff. So let's see. Let me finish off this neighborhood first. Um, I think realistically there might be some offices in this neighborhood. Some folks that do a lot of traveling and so they'd want to be near the train station. Mm, something's keeping me from getting to... 40. There we go. Put things back on. Well, just like that for now. All right, I think I'll finish off the road network for this area before I do any more zoning. Just to kind of see how we end up. I think we'll let this this two connect into each other. So we'll just just to make things easier, I'll first come out a little bit further than I need to. I have this guy come in. Okay. Now we can get rid of that stump. All right. And what else? You know what? We probably need some fire protection here. There we go. Um, yeah. What if we... It looks like these folks are not getting served. Oh, because I need to... Tell the other one to serve them. Let's see. Let's see if that fixes it. So let me make my district. So it's going to be basically this whole area in here inside the train tracks. That. Okay. So that's Empire Glade. So 
So let's tell this clinic that they also serve Empire Glade. And then same thing. Well, no, we don't have to do that with the cops because we already have cops here. So now if we go to healthcare, they're being served. But we're going to grab some death care. We're going to put a crematorium. Right. You know what? We'll put that against the train tracks because they're not going to care about the noise. We'll put that like that, maybe. That does prevent me, though, from having like a parallel road here. Do I need one? I don't think I necessarily need one. So we'll, we'll let that be like that. Alright, so let's keep going. Let's go down here, because down here we have more leeway. caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. Second Moon Radio with your host, J. Thomas Hornbuck. Alright, that's a bit close, so we're definitely going to have to constrain things as we move forward. We're, we're live, um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched, and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you, uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive safe. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when mm. business is doing well, that floats our boat. No then we'll have this one go diagonally there. Right. Let's see how much more we do in here. Let's go this one out to 140. Almost got it. You know what? We'll just let it be like that. Okay. This so will come diagonal there. Um, diagonally there. Perfect. All right. And then I think let's have a let's have a collector or at least a four lane road go across. So we'll do that here. Same thing like we did last time. That's too high. I think that's too high. There we go. Okay. All right, get that across. Guess maybe we need to be a little bit higher. Seems. See how that works. Hey. Okay. I think that did what it was supposed to. Yeah, this 
switch to this view up here. All right, we'll connect this one right there. There we go. And then from here, let's go this way. I think I went off the slope I just made. I'm not entirely sure. We'll right, stop from there. Links up those two communities. Okay. All right, let's see if we can do this a little better this time. What in the heck just happened there? Oh, it looks worse than it is. Or is it really that big of a difference? Hmm. Well, we're gonna leave that alone. Here we go. All right, so let's do our paths. So, like I said, we might have some offices here. See, I'm going to have them go, they would probably want to be here, so they can go straight towards the train station. Yeah, I guess I'll have them along this corridor here. And then over here I'll have some commercial. I think we'll put a park, maybe a small park here, a fire station kind of like as a little buffer, um, and we'll have commercial here, residential here. here. And then we'll switch back to residential here. We'll have maybe a small commercial there, residential. Uh, this should be commercial, I think. And then down here along the bottom, we'll go ahead and have, let's see, let's do commercial here and here, residential, residential. Um, and then over here. Let's have a plaza and around the plaza we'll have um, commercial with uh, some planning for office spaces here, knowing that there's no demand at the moment. Do commercial here along this road here. Finally gonna have need a buffer here so let's do let's switch to European we'll go just like that European they're more used to having trains right so that's my logic anyway that's my story I'm sticking to it 
Alright, we're gonna have Elder. And what oh boy, that's too big. Shrink this down. And we'll just plop them here wherever we can. And then I think there would definitely be some along here. All along the tracks. Wherever we don't have businesses already set up or whatever. Okay. That I think takes care of phase one. Let's see back here. We would also want some. And this area for now is nothing. We're going to want some here too. An empire glade. Okay, there's the little neighborhood I wanted around the train station. We'll probably add some more on the other side of the tracks over there later, but for now this is pretty good. Handled a lot of my demand. <coughs> so I'm going to focus on the other side of this track. So let's go files. What we're going to do is we're going to buy, let's see, where do we need to come in? And about here. Here, maybe we can go diagonally. That's what I'm going to hope for. I'm going to try diagonal again. We want to end up like right in here. We'll get that one just to be on the safe side. Um, did I not buy that one? Oh, because I'm I'm up there, right? Okay. Let's see what we can do. With what you know, what just to make life simpler, should probably just buy that one. Okay, cool. So let's run our train tracks. Yeah, we'll go curvy for now. Nope, 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 nope. Didn't ask me to curve that time. Alright, so we need to go the other side of the university. Of course the curve is too tight because it didn't ask me to curve. I hate when it does that. where I want to be. Oh, we're almost to where I want it to be. Okay, so let's switch gears for a minute. All right, so what I'm envisioning is right off the highway, we'll be able to have like a bus depot. I'll get people into town. They come from the train. Uh, so let's set that up first. So let's say from here and come up over I said bus depot, but I meant bus station. Alright, so we're gonna have bus station. It is bigger than I thought it was. Alright, so let's go up a little bit more. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive right. and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service. Alright, I'm gonna fix that in a minute. Let me just place this. this. Second Moon Radio Classical for the Modern Age. Unlike most modern music, classical has always been penned by someone right. sitting in front of a sheet of... So what I'm actually going to do here... Using only their 
imaginations as guides through a I don't really want this to be masterpiece. Now, here signalized at full volume and our souls are transported mm. but let us not tarry on to the next episode this just in from traffic. If you're thinking about hitting the streets, you can expect delays on the major roads, especially during rush. Okay, I got rid of it. Um, oh, you know what? I think this is a perfect spot for a roundabout. There we go. Later, that that might become an interchange or something, but this way no one has to stop. All right. So on the other side of this is going to be our train station. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently, that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. Um. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations right. within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. So now, one, right, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics. Alright, let's get the trains connected first, because that's going to be the messiest part. Alright, so. We've got power lines here, which are going to affect things a bit. Maybe we'll let the train go over the. Let the train go over. Go up. We need to get to over here. Curve is too tight. Oh. That's God darn it! Why didn't you ask me about the curve? Have service here, or we will once we create the thing. All right, so that works out. People can still keep driving there. So now let's get our roads connected so that they can have um, uh, power and so forth. All right, I'm going to assume that this is not going to go on the side. Yeah, I think this is just going to end here. So, let's see. You know what? This is nice and cute, but it's going to create more intersections than I want. So, rid of Daffodil Street. I can. God darn it, I built it too close. How am I supposed to do this now?
Okay, that's weird. Eh, we'll run with it. Let's go curve. power and everything or they will momentarily I have some shops right here we'll go European style why not okay right so let's do our oh so we're gonna go here go back and forth there and then as far as our buses go okay um let's give it to our bus routes all right we're gonna grab a route and go ah over here we can meet up over here Got that. And I'm also going to do one over in this direction too. Let's do go back to North American. All right, so we'll do stops here. And we'll do one to coincide. There. So we'll do that. Oop. back this way perfect All right so I've got that let's make the taxi stop all right thing I want to do some bus lanes here there's traffic on the park low take a look at that momentarily all right so we'll do it like up to there all right let's figure out what's going on with our park low here All right, so we, it's signalized. That's probably part of the problem. People are getting off. They're waiting to make left, I guess. What it looks like. So, maybe we need to change this a little bit here.
there's the classic solution of the roundabout. Might work. But, uh... Let's see, what if we did... And this might not work, this might be too tight here, but let's see, what if we got a one-way... I want, like... That... Um, and we said... No right turns there. No left turns there. Um, no signals there. Then, what if we did? I don't know if I'm making more of a mess or not. I guess we'll find out in a minute. Find out this way. So, we can go left or right, and just get rid of this. We don't have any signals here, right? People can only go dot and dot. So I think I should clear things up. Let's see. Let's speed things up and see if it works. Definitely seems to. Huh, everyone wants to go left, huh? One person wants to go right over there. The only bad thing is that these folks are on the wrong side of the highway for that. But it did clear all the traffic. It says there's traffic there, but there isn't really. Because they don't have to wait for anything to go, they just go. Hmm. They are stopping that truck over there, though. Alright, I think... We need to go over. So, let's see, what if we did one way? He went right, that's too steep. So what if we did this? Should be better. To our power grid, the city will be experiencing rolling blackouts. We urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. This is there you go. a local public service announcement. That's probably way more complicated than it needed to be, but eventually this is going to be a highway to highway interchange. I think. Wow! Look at all those cars trying to come in. Holy moly! Consider installing a low flush toilet, cut back on watering the lawn, and shower with a friend whenever possible. Right, let's see how this ends up now. A local public service announcement. How delightful! Another letter from our erstwhile listeners. Hmm. What's up, honey? Me and my sister love you. Oh, that's nice. It's like an infinite amount of violins, cars coming this way. But you got something most music these days ain't. Ah, oh, let me guess. Lineage traced back to the great Hayden himself, hmm? <laughs> Let's see here. Y'all got soul. Ah, oh, yes, soul. A raison d'etre. Mmm, delicious. My sisters say whoever you got playing the keys oh. 
got more funk in you know what pinky hmm. yeah. I told her that ain't funk that's classical yes indeed that must be most exacerbating classical music has been known <coughs> we just made it so people can't get back on the highway this way so I messed up let's go back to the idea of just having a roundabout I think is for the lay person now let's hear another one of those soulful camps Right, I'm going to put it and on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop right, let's pause. Gotta shoes fix this mess I made. A fancy local Java mate, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Interesting news from the city's export division. Sources tell us that our city has more services than we know what to do with. And you know what that means, folks. It means we're not cutting things close enough. Well, no. The point is we're selling it and bringing money into local That's economy. right. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we could say that we're enjoying a positive trade balance. And I know, see what happens. Booming. More after this. Why does everyone want to come over here? Are they trying to get on the train station? I don't understand. Nobody's coming back this way, at least at the moment. <laughs> hmm. What do most people... Most people are not. Okay, so therefore... Change this up. Let's see. Well, while I'm thinking about that, I'm going to make another bus depot right here. That should help alleviate that once they get going. do is hmm. what happened over here crash okay um I think what we need is maybe to expand the off-ramp, but um, this may be too small. Maybe we need to bring them out a little further. Let's see. He's coming. Yep. Mm. Train where? Alright, let's see here. 
Let's slow this down while we're thinking. What's that? What is that? You hear? There's a traffic jam. Because everybody wants to come off here. You can so, add some more. Uh, yeah, I think what I need to do is maybe... Since so many people want to get off here, I think I need to make this bigger. That gives more lanes. And make off ramp bigger. And make the lane math work. This road needs to be bigger. But we don't want a traffic light here. That doesn't make any sense. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, but we do need to make... You take that to go on. Yep. All right, now let's see. All right, let's speed this up and see if this fixes traffic. Cars have to figure out what's going on first. I don't. Yeah. Looks like that fixed it. All right, cool. You fixed the situation. All right, we're good. All right, let's finish up this neighborhood over here, and that'll be it for today. Is odd. Probably need to go higher then. Um, let's see. Let's curve it, so I don't want to have too many junctions right with each other. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to have this be an office park. But they don't want to, well, I guess they want to be here. Let's get F. Alright, we don't need right next to each other. So. No, we'll make a large one. We'll have... Nope, too big. Do some low rent help right there. Right, go back to offices. Go 
to our office park here. Um, here we're gonna have a commercial. I want to bring this across. There we go. I'm going to have this be townhomes. I'm going to do European again. I don't know. I just want to. housing right there. Yeah. Alright, cool. What did you say? Alright, so the last thing we gotta do is get some trains working here. So let's head over here. We've got six out of train, six out of ten. Use. So why are that we have the others? All right, let's go. No. Hmm. So technically, we should be fine. But let's. It's probably need to come over here. Alright, train. Beachburg. This is, um. Other outside. Make this one green. This is, um. Metro City. We'll name the neighborhoods later. Make this one purple. Oop. Right. So for that this one we've good. got one. It's just the color of the line. This one got one. For this one got two. But why don't we have any? That's weird. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Right, one, one. Exercise caution if you must eight. drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. You're tuned in to Second Moon, the channel where the classics never grow old. We're we're live um, and we're going to accident. Cargo, cargo, cargo. In the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched and traffic flow should return to normal. Mm. But if you're planning a quick why path, aren't there more going? Is there a reason? Everything clears up. If you're in it, you uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive Maybe it's some kind of bug, I'm Industry not sure. In the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. We're gonna let maintenance go more quickly. I know we don't need we didn't need to do that, but hmm. yeah, I should have Oh, there's three vehicles in maintenance, that's why. Okay, so maybe let's speed this up, see if we get another one for passenger train. 
Nope. That did not do it. Maybe there's some kind of bug. Try and force it with this. seems to not be calling the game and needs another train. Hmm. Well. Maybe it'll figure itself out uh, after the next load or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what, what it'll take. I don't know if it's a bug, I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong. It's hard to tell with this game in its current state. Right, well, so for now, no one's going to use this train station, but... Well, you know what? Maybe if I connect this line to it, it'll trigger it. Let's see. That would be hilarious if that's all it takes. I'm here spending money for no reason. trains assigned to it. Hmm. Oh, not sure. But that highway problem has not returned, so that's good. at that for now. It's been Eric playing City Skylines 2. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Oh, wait, no. That was a false thing for me to say because we have to do our cinematic. That car, I want to follow you. you. Oh, someone that's coming into town. we got to slow this down. Capture somebody. Actually, before I do that, let me go get my shot of what we did today. Empire Glade. Something like this. You can see the whole situation. Actually, in that case, let's do our cinematic from a train, maybe? Depends which way the train's going. Oh no, because we don't have the inner intracity train going on right now, unfortunately. Alright, we'll grab. Oh, we can't grab you because of the mode we're in. We'll grab you. After our new neighborhood here with your shiny car.
wonder who's going to take the overpass. Oh, there goes a train leaving. Perfect. Awesome for our ending cinematic here. Alright, I think once he goes over the overpass, we'll probably... And, yep. If he made a right turn, I was going to say, this guy doesn't know where he's going. He's just going in circles. Somebody going by with their camper. Pretty cool. Walking on the bridge. Reminds me of some place near my mom's house. City Skylines 2. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.